world of YouTube, Tefosite here, going over some photos that I took off a TV show that I just recently started watching on Amazon, and I'm kind of, I just contacted these guys, let's see if they get back to me, due to the fact that I sent them my video of Let Me Out, Spirit speaking in the room I slept in uh, they had this uh, inn they went into in by the um, by the falls in by the falls or falls of the inn no I think it was in by the falls in Ontario Canada now the ghost show is called knock knock ghost <clears throat> and of course one of the um, creators I believe you can call him uh, he's a big heavy set guy I forgot his name <laughs> there's two of them and there's a skinny guy and the big guy and the big guy is a skeptic he wants to see ghosts he's one of them um, people like I can say Kevin Carlson off the show radio show that I go on frequently, WZLX. He's the head man, the honcho of that show. Well, these guys are the head honchos and Knock Knock Ghost, and like I, you know, gave them a briefing. I actually went on their Facebook page tonight, sent them my, you know, my video. Actually, I just downloaded some pictures. Maybe I'll send that to them because not only are you going to see tonight what this is of what I caught, they caught <laughs> mine are more, uh, I caught mine in mid motion of orbs. But once again, here we have a TV show, mind you, that has a uh, psychic medium on there, well, let alone a guy who can, you know, literally talk and see spirits. Uh, you know, they're catching stuff, and he's the main guy to, you know, call out these orbs and to make sure everybody knows what is real and what is not. He is the main guy that, right, will tell you, you know, if you don't believe, you better believe. And he definitely is on this. I mean, the big guy, heavy set guy on this. TV show, you know, <laughs> he'll tell you straight out that, oh, I don't believe, but we did catch some good stuff, and blah, 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 but this guy here, I believe his name is um, Jim or John, Jim, Jim, I believe, or John, one of the, I forget his name too, I'm still new to the show, forgive me, but him being a psychic medium, you know, I haven't seen him once say to the guy, the heavy guy, oh, I don't care what your opinion is, right? And that's what I'd be saying to him is, right, I don't care what your opinion is. So here we have the orbs. So I don't know what, the fuck what you can see clearly here, clearly here, and clearly here. I've caught in these orbs plenty of times in my stuff. Mind you, in videos, but not only am I going to show you what I caught in, you know, in my photos, I mean, in videos, I mean, I caught them in photos too. But like I say, mine are in mid movement, meaning they're moving as I'm taking pictures, and you're seeing a few. But I just want you to, this is a perfect way to, you know, um, have the backup that you need that your my photos are legit so if anybody's gonna call me a liar you're gonna be calling these guys a liar and as you can see here's one of their morphs that is perfectly clear you can see the door framing in the back that's how you know an orb from a dust particle dust particles you cannot see through you know sometimes dust particles are nothing but a fuzzy you know uh you know, demented looking orb. You call it a demented orb, but you can't see through it. 
you know, it, it's got its curves to it. It's not completely round. You know, and an orb is very round and uh, has got no ridges around it. As you can clearly see, you know, catching an orb there. I don't know where that orb is. <laughs> Some of these you see them moving, but... Yeah, that's the clear one out of these pictures. Excuse me. Mind you, in some of these um, interviews, these guys do their faces up to the TV like this. The friggin' orb went by the guy's head, the skinnier guy. You know, and he's the one that's a real petrified. <laughs> oh boy, is he a character. But he's more petrified, and of course, the ghost would take a more liking into him of haunting him because he does not have the mentality, you know, of having a strong uh, toughness that you are to have towards spirits, especially when the dark entities come around you. But as you see clearly, I showed you both, you know, clear as day pictures of orbs. There you have it. But don't get me wrong, you know, orbs, you know, also being like this fuzzy and so forth, you know, leads you to what I have. Say so like this one in the back of that one. Oh, there's the one right there on the wall. But between these two, we'll move into my pictures that I have. And this is at the Gardner Pierce Mansion, Haunted Gardner Pierce Mansion. But mine, mind you, as you can see, in movement, look at this one, solid as hell. This one moving. This one right across. This one, and of course the one up on the wall. These are my pictures that I taken. And these ones, man, are lit up like a friggin' Christmas tree. That and this. All different distinctive orbs that you are to look for. Whether it's in pictures or even on video. But I chose these ones because they're more illuminated. Say so, just like this one. Then the other ones off their show. So, I mean, th this man, right? Oh, look at this. I didn't even mark that one. As you can see there, right along the red line, there's another orb streak. Because you can see the, you know, seeing through it. You can see it uplighting the wood and the banister. You can see the tail end of it near the railing. I didn't circle that one, but... Oh, and there's another one near this one. As you can see there, two in one circle. I was only really looking at the one there moving up and down, but I didn't see that one either. But <laughs> more orbs, folks, more orbs. And this is what I catch. This is what I do. And this is from a regular phone, mind you. And the night vision cameras I've had, I've had three of them, two of them now not working. But yes, the third one, is the one I caught the, um, literally that let me out. So, I mean, with that being said, and all this taken in, you know, it, it's, and watching the show now, like I said, this is a proven fact. Proven fact. You know, what I say, what I do, what I catch is all true. So, with that being said, that's right, folks. You need to believe. Hopefully these um, guys from this show take my stuff seriously and uh, get back to me because I'm hoping they do. And who knows? Hopefully, maybe. Ooh, I'd love to get on their show. But until then, just like every other failure try, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to get this all to the right people. And I need to get it to the right people. When you got TV shows like this, knock, knock, goes. 
you know, coming out, and they got their big crews there, unlike me just having me. No big crews. Set up a camera here, walk around with two phones or whatever I have, and that's that. Other like these big crews, um, yeah, they got, you know, the big guy, the skinny guy, the psychic guy. And I want to say they might have four other people other than the, you know, the people that are there to, you know, tell the story of the place that they're uh, investigating. But I, I want to say they got maybe four, five tops, other camera crew guys in their show. And that's what I want to eliminate. You know, I want to eliminate that because even though that motel room, I got that let me out. I mean, I had my whole family there. You know, one of my, well, my one son, second oldest, stayed behind because he was working at the time. But I had five people in that room and we were all sleeping. All sleeping. <laughs> and right, for that voice to come out loud and clear, you know, this guy in one of the in this in this episode right here that I'm talking about, he even said it, and I've said it. Um, these spirits, right, do come to you, like say so more when you're sleeping. And that leads me to a dream I had, a couple of dreams. I haven't been dreaming too much, and I think it's because I've been had a lot on my mind, right. I mean, I've got a lot of things going on right now, trying to stay above water. But I finally had some dreams, but they were weird and they were stupid. I mean, they were just, I don't know, man. They weren't, it's like I get up and then I forget about it. It's, it's I mean, but I mean, it's not stupid in ways, but there's a lot of people in my dreams and I think they're ghosts. And they're talking, they're literally talking. They're all sitting around, for Christ's sakes. But because there's so many of them, I can't get a good conversation. I did get a name, but it was a, <laughs> something silly. And of course, I tried looking it up to see, hey, they trying to give me a name, trying to find something. No, it came up as nothing. But um, it's like, yeah, I think they're trying to communicate with me in my dreams, but because there's so many of them, I can't get the proper thing out. And I don't know how to relax my mind, you know, to get my dreams to be remembered now because of the friggin', I could say, stress that I'm going through. And it sucks, man, it really does. Oh, wow, they fixed the freaking gate on me over here. I can't get out, I'm locked in. You dirty rats. There used to be a big hole and they fixed the gate. I haven't walked a pug like this in a while. I used to cut through it. Now I gotta walk all day way back around. Some bitch! But anyways, yeah, I think... But something did come up in a dream and it was like a, um, a set of stairs leading up to like a uh, trail into some woods. And I'm like, oh, I gotta set up my camera here, right? And that's exactly what I'm doing, is setting up my camera. And as I'm looking up these stairs, I got this friggin', I don't know, some guy, I don't know who the hell the guy is. He's talking about a friggin' bear chair. I put the bear chair in here. And I don't know if he was like, maybe trying to tell me a story about something about putting the bear can there for whatever reason. And I was like in my dream, like, get the hell out of here, you put the bear can. What is a bear can? I'm trying to catch a ghost, man. I'm, I'm over there, I go back to my camera. And of course, he disappears. And, you know, I'm looking up in the woods and he says, you know, he says, there's something up there. And I said, nah, no shit. So I'm trying to stick my camera up, trying to start it. And of course, bang, wake up out of it. It's like, oh, God damn it. But there was another dream where they were, the, the friggin' spirits, it gotta be spirits, telling me to call a couple people. I'm like, wow. And yeah, I'm like, damn, I should. But the thing of it is, 
I don't want to say no names, but when I try and call these people, they don't answer their damn phone. And it's like, geez, thanks, you know, give me a phone number to call and you don't answer. But, you know, I get it. It's one of them type of things that right in my stupid 17 years of drinking, I lost contact. And it's like, I don't think people know how to react to me no more or talk to me or whatever it is. You know, I've been out of his life so long, I think it's like, man, oh, it's just him, whatever. <laughs> So the only way I could put it, right? But anyways, <clears throat> I did call one of my cousins, and actually the one that I went and visit, and got my ghost, you know, talking in the video, let me out. He heard it, he was like, damn. He, you know, he pretty much didn't have much to say because no one in me is probably speechless. Even though he has his, holy shit, encounters with ghosts. Because he did show me a picture of uh, him. And I can't say too much of it, but... You know, he wanted to, I'll just put it this way, he wanted to say something to somebody. And he was very, very angry. And he, you know, someone snapped a picture of him for some reason. And in the picture, boy, <laughs> he's got like a ghostly hand on his lips, literally, or mist on his lips. And he said he never felt so calm in his life. And that, you know, made him not do or say the things he wanted to do that day. <laughs> and he just said, you know, it was like, let it go type thing and he did so yeah with that being said you know, I think my family more than just me has a gift communicating and it has been said and known that my grandmother on my mother's side was put in a nut house because she was talking to herself but I think she was talking to spirits. And it was said that that was what it was, but because back in them days, folks, you say shit like that, you do stuff like that, you're put away. You know, you're, you're just, you're, you're insane, you're crazy. But where people are learning about it and getting more info and shows like these proving the facts, it's not about being crazy. It's about being at the right place at the right time and connecting with the right ghost. Because you don't want to connect, of course, with the evil ones. But family members, relatives, friends that passed on. And I know I got visited from my friend, <clears throat> literally from, you know, 2019, when my boy Beastie passed away, Robert Baldwin. And when the stories I told his brother, man, in that same order when I went home and I mentioned, you know, Def Leppard, I mentioned why they called him Beastie. He made that known that he was going to be called Beastie at the school and he said he wouldn't do nothing or whatever he said and the teachers literally started calling him that. All right, that's the impact this kid had on people. Now, he wasn't a bad kid at all. He was friggin' all man. Couldn't ask for a better friend. Laid back. And that's what people did as respect to him. And not only that, I used to, I told the story about he, me, him, and uh, one of my other buddies, Paul, how we used to go hustle in basketball. Well, take that money, sucker. <laughs> and literally that day when I went home, in order, and I got the videos up, in order, of that day, of that story I told him, his brother, the Def Leppard, came on the radio. Beastie Boys immediately after that Def Leppard song came on the radio. Then when I got home off the highway, I was going, um, oh man, into Fitchburg. 
there was a freaking basketball sitting on the side of the freaking road off the highway going into Fitchburg where we lived and we met and we were good friends. And I still got that ball to this day. I'm going to continue to keep it. <laughs> but in that order, that's what I got that day leaving because I went to his funeral. So for you people that don't believe, you come to the right channel. Because this is no joke. And I'm hoping one day to get my own show. That's right. Because I believe I'm an advocate for the dead. I'm here to tell the tales and the stories of the past. Especially honoring Native Americans. But until that next story, that next video, that next where am I? Because <laughs> I could be anywhere. You'll never know. This is the place to be. But until then, folks, be safe, take care, and always believe. Because this show right here is my backup right now. That's right. Out.